Hey guys, I have an unboxing for you for the um, the organizer for like your Ziploc bags and everything. So here is the box over here. I have not opened it. I ordered this. When I'm talking, I'm going to open it. I ordered this um, when they had the, what's that called? The Amazon um, Prime Day. On Prime Day. And I got it a couple days later, but I just never opened it. So I am going to open it with you guys right now. And I got a, I don't know if I got teak or wood one, but you guys know how um, they're usually about 40, 50 bucks or whatever. Sometimes you find them a little cheaper. So I never really, I, said, I was going to get it and I said, no, I don't want to spend that much money on it because they're fine in their boxes. But, but on that prime day, they had this one. So I don't know what it looks like. I haven't seen anybody get it. They had this particular one uh, for $16.99. So I was like, it's not a lot of money. So let's see, you know, instead of spending 40 bucks, let's see what these look like. Let me turn this camera over here. Okay, I kind of widen the lens a little bit more so you guys can see what I'm doing. And these are, this one is not connected. I've seen a couple reviews saying that you couldn't see the writing that good, but I'm looking at it. The writing looks pretty good. So let's open all this up to see. Because like I said, I've never seen them for $16.99. I got something else in here too. Look at these, you guys. Let me see. I have no idea. Let me see if there's any. You know how Amazon is. Half the time, ain't no instructions. So I guess I'll have to go and look. I think it got. Oh, you know what these are? These are those things. I think you can, like when you're filling the bag, you can hold it. It holds the bag some kind of way. I gotta watch a video myself to see how to do that. But this, so they sent two of those in there. So I guess that's just a bonus gift. But like I said, these only cost $16.99 instead of the $40. Oh, and then look at this one. This one. So I guess you can put other stuff in here. Um, this one has these little, little wooden things. I guess you kind of can put them in here. Let me see. Does it fit? Yeah, it does. Yeah, you just kind of put that in there and just make like little um, little separate compartments if you want to. So let me get a couple of these bags to see what they look like. Okay, guys, I cut the camera off because I wanted to spray them with some disinfectant. They're still kind of... I wanted to dry them and then I sprayed them with a little sanitizer you never know where the stuff has been okay now this one right here is the gallon now let me i'm gonna try something see this is not gonna fit i have two gallon bags and i haven't seen them um i've been looking for you know because sometimes you get them and they come like two of these but they don't have the ones for the two like i have two gallon bags and 2.5 gallon bags so just a standard bag so this is for my gallon bag and then here is a snack bag. And see what people were complaining about in some of the reviews for this one. They said you couldn't see the imprint. But I'm all mine. You can see. So I am going to put. Let's see how this. This is the snack bags. So I'm going to put those in there. And it fits. I got a little bit more in here if they all fit because in this thing you get 150 snack bags probably i probably want to use a few out of there okay let's put this over here now this one is for sandwich bags um i don't usually buy sandwich bags i buy quart size bags and this is a quart and i usually buy the reason why i buy the freezer bags and not the regular bags is because i want to use them for everything because i put a lot of stuff in the freezer so i have these quart size bags and then I have these let me see how they the dimensions of them 
think they're almost the same. They're almost the same size. And I haven't figured out what I'm going to do with this one yet. Because this one, like I said, quart, sandwich, snack. And this one says two millimeter and others. Because they used to make the um, snack bags like um, horizontal. Not horizontal, vertical. They used to make them vertical. I can't find those anywhere. I like those actually. So I'm going to fill these up and see um, if everything fits in here. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, this is what I got so far. So I got to just get some more gallon bags. And like I said, my two gallon bag does not fit, but that's fine. I don't use those. This is what I use the most. Okay. And then let me get this one over here. I'm going to show you what I did for this miscellaneous one. Um, I use these. I don't know if you guys use these. You remember those bag things we used to put on our hair or you still do it like when you're conditioning? Well, I use these a lot to cover up food because you can buy them in the store like this now but if you buy the ones in the hair over where the hair is you get a, a gang of them for like 97 cents you buy the exact same things over in the grocery department they're charging you like three four bucks for the same thing and you get less of them so i always grab these to put over like a fruit bowl or just over something really quick so i grab those a lot now um sometimes when i um and making hors d'oeuvres or anything. I always have these. And so I just put these in here. I might take them out the bags. I don't know. I always have either black ones, white ones, or clear. And so they're just like uh, like little toothpicks that you can um, put your hors d'oeuvres on there. You see how those are? And they're just cute. And um, so I was like, okay, I can just store those just right in there. And I took one of the dividers out because I didn't need it. You know, if I switch it up, I still have it. But... For $16.99, I say this was a good buy. Now, for those for this right here, uh, this these are called, I looked it up, they are uh, baggy rack stands. And I looked it up. Let me move this over here so you guys can see. So you just put your little bags in. It's just a, I guess, it's just a little gift they sent. You just put, put that in here. And you can, like, fill it up with fruit. You know, it makes it hands-free. You know, and I tried the little uh sandwich, I mean the little snack bags on there. All your bags will fit right in there. Now the, the gallon ones and stuff, I think they're a little bit too long because it does not adjust. Let me see. But just like if you're kind of you know putting some snacks um in the refrigerator and using plastic bags, you can you, they send you two of them, you know, you know, it's hands free, you can just store your fruit. Uh, even like when you're doing smoothies, a lot of times I'll do smoothie preps and I'll throw everything I want for a smoothie in a bag and so you don't have to be touching it and getting it all nasty and dirty but let me see they, I'm looking it up right now I'm on my yes I'm on my iPad and it has went up but it's still not bad it's not the 40 uh bucks you, you have 39.99 I used to spending let me show you guys it is 17 97 I want I want you guys to see that so I'm going to put a link um, to this in the description and so that is my unboxing of my new bag organizer and baggy rack stand that I got around prime but it's still a pretty good price and I looked to see they have a couple of them for $22 and everything but you cannot beat this price and the quality is good and they also have a different kind of wood more um like a darker wood with the one box see some people like it all in one box so you don't have to but I, I didn't want the one box I actually wanted it like this hold on okay I got this on the screen for you guys so they have like they have it like that if you want the one box and this one is also $16.95 but it only has four compartments you know but if that's all you need that's all you need so you guys let me know if you have any of these and what you think about them. You know, I'm going to put them in the drawer over here. Let me see if my drawer's clean enough that I can show you guys because I got to take some stuff out of it. Hold on. Okay, guys, this is what it looks like in the drawer. And see, I've got the Reynolds wrap and the wax paper and stuff over there. I'm still contemplating on whether or not I'm going to get the ones for that because I think those are a little bit pricey too. If I can find one on a good deal like this, I will. But look how neat the drawer looks. Don't have all those boxes anymore. 
Okay, so as far as my review for this item, I give it I give it a thumbs up. Like I said, I wish they did come with um, a two gallon one. I'll keep on the lookout for that. And um, this is the two boxes that I still had left because this is a pretty large freezer back quart. This is 120, so this is my overflow. And everything else is in the drawer. So yeah, thumbs up, get my approval. All right, you guys, let me know if you have any of these and how much did you spend for it? Did you get a good deal like I did? Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. You guys have a great day. Thumbs up, please. Bye.